Oh, I gotta say, Sacking, you're almost looking like your old self again. I'm sorry I abandoned the band, you guys. Hey, it's gonna make for a better rockumentary someday. Time for the feast. Feast! Just a thought is all I've got Now my cover's grow At the bottom of a lake Of frozen feeling When my friends pulled me back up I started healing I know her from my nightmares. <laughs> Don't worry. All your friends are here. Friends? Oh, do you mean these friends? The ones who abandoned him in the ice for 20 years. Don't listen to her. Dear universe, please, shut up! There we go. That's better. Problem solved. Ball of light? Your helmet full bear! Everyone thinks you died in the deluge of Grulovia. What happened? <sighs> I can't remember much of anything. Well, if you don't mind, I can try to help with that. This was my stupid plan to defeat Maligula. You okay? So far. You okay? So far. You were going to act her to death? I did a monologue about Lucy's life and what she meant to us. To try and bring her back. I was useless that day. You think 
think you were useless that day? I tried to stop her with a motivational speech. Actually, Fulbert, you distracted her long enough that I was able to recruit some local animals to help. Which also didn't work. We all brought what we had to the battle. The main thing was, your beautiful performance did bring out the old Lucy. Just for a bit. It reminded us that she was in there. So, Maligula used to be... your friend? And her name was... Lucy? <sighs> was she the seventh member of the Psychic Six? Lucretia Mux? But she went... I'm learning a lot. Yeah, me too. You guys! I'm right here! Where are you going? Why did you all abandon me for a thousand years? Twenty. Maybe in your world? Did they even look for me? Did they all forget I existed? We did look for you, fool bear. But my stupid hyper high glaciator there, which we brought to freeze Maligula, well, it, uh... It worked as designed, Otto. But you were so deep in that frozen lake, we couldn't find you. No matter how much we dug. I know you're just speculating here, Helmet. I think you're probably right. But I sent you my brain, Ford. Didn't you find it? I... I don't know. Ford must have brought your brain back because I found it in Otto's lab. But he must have lost that memory when his mind was shattered in the battle. My brain was shattered? Well, come on. It was a little crack to begin with. If my body's been in hyper all this time, I'll bet I look amazing. Almost done. I'm starting to enjoy it now. Oh no, I can't look. This is where that monster drowned my Bobby. Because I failed. Because my stupid plan couldn't save him. No, you saved me. You threw yourself into the path of danger, sacrificing yourself. To save me. Rather dramatically, I might add. Well, I mean, thank you. So, I'm not dead. I'm out there somewhere waiting for you to come back to me. I'm coming to you, right now. I swear. Better hurry. You know how I get. Memories, my boy. Just a show we put on inside our heads. Sometimes the first draft of the script stinks. Thanks for helping me with the rewrites. Now let's go give the people what they want. <laughs> Everybody stand back! Remember, this is our friend, Lucy! She's going through a tough time. I think she might just need someone to listen to her. Save your sympathy for your shrubbery, Zanato. Time out, Lulu! yet for bear but not to worry I've got your brain and I'm gonna keep it safe back at HQ and come back for the rest of you 
this after I figure out what to do with Lucy. Okay. I know you won't forget about me. I don't think anybody's gonna forget about you after that performance. In fact, I think they're demanding an encore. Senior staff only. I'm... Who am I again? Nick John Smith. Nick John Smith, senior mailroom staff. Welcome, Helmut Fulbear, deceased. About time they sent me an assistant. Ford's gonna be so excited when he figures out who you really are, Agent Fulbear. Everybody is. Kid, I owed you one, and now we're square. But I'm not ready to face Cruller. Not until I talk to Bob. But... Lots of baggage to unpack. You wouldn't understand. But please, tell no one of my return. But... I'll see you at curtain call! Oh, somebody shut that door before the wind blows all my letters away! Excuse me, Agent Cruller? Clerk Cruller, yes? How are you feeling? Busy. It's like nobody's been sorting the mail for days. Would you mind if I, uh, went inside your mind and sorted a few things out? Eh, I'm never opposed to anything getting properly sorted. brought peace to Grulovia, but there is still unrest among the people. A little ungrateful, I think. Home soon, Lucretia. Dear Ford, we brought peace to Grulovia, but there is still unrest among the people. of Ford's mind in here for me to reconnect. It'll probably be up in that giant clunky head. Hey, I came out of that clunky head. Really? Can you help me get in there? Uh, maybe, to tell you the truth. I'm not addressed very well, so... I'm sure I'll be marked return to sender and sent back there soon. Just grab on. Did someone say return to sender? This letter's got no return address. I'm afraid that means the dead letter office for you. But wait, I'm a heartfelt love letter. Don't care who you're quoted, the feelings must get sorted. Too many letters, they just keep coming. What's the point? Nobody ever writes what they really mean. I wrote a letter once. Did I think I could stop a war? Ah, doesn't matter. I never sent it. 
Maybe it would have saved a thousand lives. Maybe just one. I wonder what would have happened if I'd sent that letter. I wonder if it's too late. Hey! Over here! this graveyard. If I get you out of here, will you still take me up to the head? Yes, but quick, before he... Whoa! Ah! <laughs> Mistake. This doesn't belong in the dead letter office. <laughs> Look at that address. It belongs in the international dead letter office. What? No, wait. Uh oh. Lucy, haven't heard from you in a while. Send us a card, or better yet, come home. We miss you. Four.
There we go. Yourself. We're just worried about you. Love, Ford, and friends. Gentle rain's not enough to secure my reign. Stop being coy with the Hoi Paloi. Now where did I put that letter? I must have put it somewhere around here. Thank you. 
What's that sound? The people have no nickname for me. They call me. Just hold still. I'm gonna get you out of here. Oh, no. <laughs> Some ladies are such a pain in the neck, they really belong in the furnace. Wait. I think I know how to address this one. Really? Well, it's worth a shot. But don't take all day. The mail must sail into tomorrow, no time to borrow. Boy, I hope you know what you're doing. That's a key to the typewriter. I should not burn the maid. I think it's a felony. Ah, as if you could harm the power of the mail. It's indestructible. <laughs> Is that the missing typewriter key?
think that's the key I need over there. I don't think I have all the keys I need to pop. That's better. Now where are the rest? Know who Ford would like to address this letter to. She's gone mad! She's flooded the capital! She'll destroy this country! Get out while you can. to the creature. Is it luck? Man, I hope it's luck. Oh, that's right. That's the name we all forgot. Now let's send that off and see what we get. Doesn't matter. Yep. Oh. 
this is a private mailbox. You aren't allowed in here. You've been missorted. You touch that, and it's a federal crime. Come on. What did you say in that letter? Nothing important, really. Just that I loved her. She just wanted to help, but they, they pushed her too far. Well, how should we have known? It's not like she was marked fragile. But I thought I knew her and everything she held inside herself. Ah, I had so much to learn. I guess some packages are better left unopened. Only one more piece of Ford's mind to reconnect. I'm making progress. But what if Maligula shows up here? And Ford's not ready. I need to hurry up.